I have been searching for a good RAG tool for quite some time now. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation that enables large language models to talk to your own document and that makes it easy for you to give more context to LLM as per your own custom data. I am yet to find a mind-blowing tool and that is why when I stumbled upon this dancefer I thought of giving, giving it a try and we will do it together. We will first install it locally with a web UI and then we'll see how it rag works. Before I show you as how to get it installed locally, let me give you a quick overview of this tool. So Dancefer is the AI assistant connected to your own personal documents or your company's documents, your applications and your people through Slack or with various other integrations. Dancefer provides a chat interface and plugs into any LLM of your choice. Dancefer can be deployed anywhere and for any scale. You can deploy it on a laptop, on-prem or to cloud like AWS, GCP or Azure. You can use your own data and chats are fully in your own control, private and local. Dancefer is MIT licensed which is awesome because it's a very liberal license and it is designed to be modular and easily extensible. The system also comes fully ready for production usage with user authentication, role management, chat persistence and also a user interface for configuring personas or AI assistants in other words. And you can specify their own prompt. For example, you can have a financial advisor AI assistant with its own prompt. You can have a legal advisor with its own prompt. So these are called as personas. Dancefer also serves as a unified search across all common work place tools such as Slack, Google Drive, Confluence and there are a lot of others and it is the list is evolving pretty rapidly. So by combining these large language models and team specific knowledge bases, Dancefer becomes a subject matter expert or SME for the whole team. So for example, just suppose that uh, you could use any of the model to ask questions as uh, from your code base about different features, different pull requests or any customer related questions, sky is the limit there. You can do that with Dancefer. So that is a quick overview of what exactly Dancefer is, how you can, uh, you know, uh, use it. So let me uh, now take you to my local system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I am, I have one GPU card of 22 GPU of VRAM. Let me quickly show you. So this is my GPU and my memory is 32 GPU. Let me clear the screen. Let's create a Conda environment and then we will put everything nice and separate in that Conda environment. This is my Conda version. If you don't know what Conda is, please search my channel with Conda keyword and you should be able to find a video to get it installed easily and quickly. Well, again, let me clear the screen. And now let me create a Conda environment. So I'm creating this Conda environment with the name Dancefer and I'm using Python 3.11 for it. Just press Y here and it is going to install everything here quickly and nicely. Let's activate that Dancefer environment and you will see that appearing in the parenthesis on the left. Let's clear the screen. Also make sure that you have git installed. I already have it. Also make sure that you have uh, docker installed. So this is a docker I have and make sure that you also have docker compose installed. So I also have docker composed installed which is good. Let me clear the screen and now let's do git clone that repo of tensor. Let's press enter. Let's cd to Dancefer. Let's clear the screen. So now we have every prerequisites installed. We have also cloned the repo. And we have also um, downloaded it and we are within that directory. Now let's go into deployment directory. So let me show you what it looks like. This uh, the repo I mean. Let's go to deployment and then let's go to docker compose. Let's clear the screen and let me quickly show you what it looks like. So you see it uh, has some of the environment files if it has a docker compose file. So this is 
this makes it so easy for installation because all you have to do is to just run that docker compose so if you look here you will see that there are a couple of environment files for example you have this environment prod template and then we have docker compose prod so if you are deploying it in the prod environment then run this docker compose prod but for the purpose of this demo we'll just be running this docker compose dot dev dot yaml but up to you you can even run the above one so in order to start the installation of uh, this danceware all you need to do is to just run this docker compose with that yaml file for the dev one and then we are just giving it some of the other parameters and then pull always it is going to pull the layers from there and as uh, if you change any environment or dot env file especially if you are using prod it is going to recreate the whole st whole stuff if you change anything there so let me press enter here and you can see that it is pulling all the layers and depending upon your um, internet speed and your gpu card it is going to take a bit of a time i have seen it taking sometimes 15 minutes or so so let's wait for this one to finish and then we will proceed further the installation is finished now let's go to our local browser and open this dancer with our ip the local host and port 3000 let me take you to my browser so this is dancer running in my browser after installation so here there is a welcome screen you can um so you can just start that you want to do this secure chat gpt or you want to uh search through chat so maybe i'll just you can even click here now this is where you would need to set up your uh, model so i'm going to put my open AI's api key here and default model is this i can go with gpt 3.1 um, and few other models which you can select from this li uh, list so I'm just going to go with GPT-4 and this is a fast model by the way, the 3.5 and then you can select Anthropic model if you have the key you can go with uh, Azure OpenAI AWS Bedrock but you would need to provide the AWS Access Key ID and all that stuff and the advantage of Bedrock is then you can select a lot of models from this list Meta, Lama, Cohere and all, the, all of this stuff and I have covered Bedrock in detail on my channel which is an service from AWS uh, cloud to access the models through API and then you can go with the custom one so custom like together mistral there are a lot of other which you can use I couldn't really find any way to see if I could um, configure Olama with it but I'm going to keep trying and see if I could do the Olama with this one that would be awesome anyway so I'm just going to go with OpenAI I'm going to Put my key here and then i'm going to test it and set up my first connector so let me do that so you can see that i have put in my key and then let's click on test it is ready to go and then uh, you can either select any other provider for example you can go with gpt4 gpt4 turbo and i think i already told you that so let's click on enable and then set up our first connectors so of connectors is how you get the uh, document or whatever is in your organization you can set up the connect you can connect it to your uh, own document so let's click here now what do you want to do do you want to go with web you want to go with file or if you scroll down you can easily connect it to your confluence jira zule blupio sharepoint sky is the limit this is what i really like about this or you can just connect it to web or you can upload your own file so for the starter let me upload my own file here so i'm just going to go with um, select the file from here on my local system and i'm just going to go with one of the pdf file which contains my own personal information so i think that is one it has been uploaded i believe yep i think so okay so and just give it a name like I'll say Fahad Mirza personal info and click on upload file is uploaded as you see here and then there are other on the left hand side you can see you can go with the other connectors assistant and a lot of other stuff let's click on the chat at the top 
and then here you can chat with it you can ask who is what mirza and then press enter and there you go so it has given me the response on the right hand side it has given me that where exactly it found it and also in the sources amazing stuff i think i have found the tool which i was looking for for the rag also you can select a document from here and you can chat only with this document where is Fahad based based in sydney australia so you see that is in my document it is not searching for anything else now on the left hand side again you can click on transfer you can create a new assistant you will i'll just say maybe oracle dba here and you can say oracle data you can create any assistant and you can um, give up your system problem viewer and oracle dba who is helpful let's not do the chat prompt and then this is a knowledge base we want it response style that is fine model selection default is fine retrieval i don't want to number of chunks i'll let it do let's create it and this is my oracle dpa is connected to this file then you can just ask it or you can simply edit it like this and you can click on this edit button and then from here you can edit whatever you want to do so you can also go with the document set and you can create a new document so maybe i'll just give it um, so i'll just first create the document oracle docs and oracle then click okay so i already created it this one is there okay fine so it has created my oracle dba one now let's create it and here you can add different document sets so you can sync it you can delete it you can um, create more connectors and then add it here and then you can go to the chat and again you can just chat with this one oracle dba and then who is oracle dba there you go so if you there you go so fahad mirza mentioned document is an ai and cloud engineer yeah, that is correct so i haven't specified that i am dba or not but anyway you can see that how easy it is to talk to your own document to chat with any document create assistant and then um, this is what i really wanted it that i wanted to integrate it with my own stuff now you can search anything in that dance world you can chat with it the interface is very very easy uh, anyone could just go in and chat with it so if you just don't want to go with any of your assistant just click on gpt on the left hand side and you will talk to your model which is gpt4 in our case and then again this is a dance bar which we already have done if you don't want to select an assistant again okay, this is what we were chatting earlier and then here it has given me the name anonymous possum you just click on it and you can change it out if you like so this is the admin panel in this admin panel you can create more connectors and then below you see there are users so you can just manage users here if you like you would have to log in as an admin but other than that i think amazing amazing tool so i believe one of the best tool when it comes to local drag with web ui i will drop the link to its repo in video's description play around with it let me know what do you think and if you know of any other similar tool please let me know and I'll be very happy to cover it off. That's it guys. I hope that you liked it. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.